what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Okay, hello fellow tributes, this is Catching Fire 3 with some new scuffed epic visual novel. I found this for like 99 cents on, on Steam, and I thought, you know what, it's... I've, I saw what other games this person made, for instance, uh, Scuffed Bunny Hop Simulator, or Bee Hop Simulator, sorry. It's another day in the ship to bee hop around in... Hold on. Um, oh, I can't get to the settings, can I? Okay, whatever. I'll fix it later. You came across a bright light on your left. You go and check it out. What is this? A scuffed bean. I like that. Hmm. I should probably report this after I check it out. Oh, no. it's This is from B-Hop Simulator. I, I did play it a bit on my own because I wanted to see if it would be good for recording. It is not. You got closer to the blinding flashing light. It, it's so bright. You touched the block with your knife. Oh jeez. Behop.exe crashed. Oh god, your ashes have your ashes. Your eyes have been flashed as soon as you have entered somewhere you shouldn't have. Oh, I wonder if it's based off the Behop simulator game they made. You blacked out. I'm not good at bee hopping, by the way. I know, I know from trying to play it. Uh, you felt a little dizzy right after you woke up. Oh, you're finally awake. You hear a strange voice you have never heard before. Huh? W where am I? Who are you? The name's Anthony, and you're in Pog City. Poggers, guys, Poggers. <gasps> scuffed Bean. You've been unconscious for a week. You got teleported from new scuffed epic bee hop simulator 2023 on account of a bug. Oh, so it is based off that. Cool. But my first question is, what's your name? Uh, Scott. My name is Scott, or you can call me Scuffed Bean. I'm going to be called Scuffed Bean, aren't I? Scott, right? That's a nice name. Yeah, thanks. But anyways, you sound like you've asked a lot of people with the same question. Well, you're not the first victim of the bug. Currently, we have 192 people teleported here so far. What bug? Well, there's a bug inside one of the maps in New Scuffs Epic Behop Simulator 2023. It's how you got here. Wait, what? And also, what is... And do you know the cause? Well, someone thought it would be funny to plant it into the game. What they didn't consider was where we would go after we were teleported from the game. We? You, you two were also from the new scuffed b-hop thingy? It's new, new scuffed, scuffed epic, epic b-hop simulator 2023. 2023! And yes, it's been a while since I got here. I hope to get back. All right then, but what the hell is new scuffed epic b hop simulator 2023 pog champ? Nothing to worry about currently your vitals are stabilized now, so you should be able to go to your home. Ooh, yeah I need to go home my home Yes, we have bought out an entire apartment for people that need to recover from here. I think it's safe to send you home now You have been given a key to your apartment. I still have many questions for you Fine, come back here next week. I will explain everything. For now, it is best for you to go home and have a rest. You proceeded to leave the doctor's room. Th this is an egg. Is that Humpty the doctor? Dr. Humpty Dumpty? On your way out, the doctor calls you. And make sure to drink plenty of water or energy drink. Like what? I'm not sponsored by any, so I can't say any. Uh, Alright, see you, doc. I know it said doctor. I didn't want to say doctor. And oh, by the way, you should get your stuff at the nurse's station. And you should also take this map with you just in case you get lost. You've been given a map from the doctor. Alright, thanks. See you later, doc. You b-hop out of the doctor's room. <laughs> Imagine doing that in real life, though. That would be so weird. I still have no idea what's going on. This is extremely weird just teleporting here. You continued b-hopping around the hospital. <laughs> I'm imagining it just down the hall, just just hopping around the hospital, looking for the nurse's station. After a couple 
of minutes one, one wandering around. That was a typo. Why do all of these have at least one typo? Remember the hospital? You have found the nurse's station and approach it. Oh, Jesus, it's a robot egg now. At least that's what it looks like. Either that or she's very disgruntled. Sitting behind the counter is an attractive middle-aged woman in scrubs with her blonde hair pulled up into a tight bun. Beautiful, my ass. She looks like a robotic egg. She's currently talking on the phone and scribbling furiously on a notepad. You wait until she's finished with her call. When she steps closer, she stands up only to realize that something is different. She has no legs. Not the short stubs that Bean kind has, but actually thick, long, thick legs. Oh no, she has legs. Okay, yeah. This realization is quickly followed by another. She has an unnatural tint to her skin. A sort of meta I knew it. Like no one they had ever seen. You step closer, interested. Hello, nurse. What do you want? Uh, I would like my stuff from when I teleported here. Oh, fine. The nurse throws the gear onto the table without even looking your way. Hey, those items are pretty rare, you know. <sighs> Whatever. Damn, the nurse was pretty rude. You continue to b-hop out of the hospital. God, that just sounds... Imagine getting to the door and just slamming into the door. Ah, there's the exit. <laughs> there's, there's the little pog... A uh, pog champ right there. Giant. Imagine having that on a building in real life. Well, that would be weird. Whoa, this map is pretty big. Why the hell is that? Oh my god, the windows on the this building right here have a missing texture. Like, uh, like they didn't have paint.net or something. You behap your way around Pog City using the map the doctor has given you. You, you wander around the city looking for your apartment that the doctor told you to go to. Hmm, this is a pretty big city. You look at the map your doctor gave you when you left. Okay, so it looks like I have to turn left here. You behop your way to your appointment with the keys... No, apartment, not appointment. With the keys your doctor gave you. Oh, I can imagine the jingling of the keys if they're not in his hand. Ah, there it is. You walk into the apartment complex and take the stairs to your room. You use the apartment key your doctor gave you back to the hospital. Wait, what does that say? New... Oh my god, I know what that says. Right there's B-Hop. I'm guessing that's the name of it on there. You walk in and sit on the couch, or sit to the couch. I can't remember what it said. Man, I want to... Actually, I can go back. You walk in and sit on the couch. Okay. Man, I want to go back to my actual home. I will find a way out of this map. For now, I'm going to take a rest. You go and sleep on your couch. You slowly close your eyes as you fall asleep. Day two. You wake up after having a good sleep. <sighs> that was a nice sleep. You leave the apartment and go to the city of Bean. You look around while walking on the sidewalk. New scuffed cola. Buy now from Bean Mart. 199. Bean on premium. Register for a 14 day free trial. Bean City Arcade. Open Monday through Friday. 12 to 9. New game coming soon. LMAO, these advertisements are all over the place. You peek inside the big building that the advertisement was attached to. You found a dark building peppered in big machines and neon lights. Oh, I can- a uh, bean hub. Oh my god, I didn't realize all those- McDonald's? I didn't realize that the signs were actually there. Corn. The big building is full of other beans fidgeting a stick and mashing buttons on the big machines with a bright light attached to it. French sim- That needs to be a game. I need French Simulator as a game. Blood drop out now. I don't know what that could be, but French Simulator sounds fun. And why is Mario's hat right there? You walk in very curiously wondering what's this big place. Whoa, this place is pretty big. You, wa you wonder inside the mysterious building blinded with bright neon lights. Whoa! 
This is an arcade. Seems epic. Might be able to figure out more about where I came from. You look around the arcade to see a janitor oddly looking at you while standing at a door. Oh, a new bean. Haven't seen you around town before. I'm Scott. Uh, who are you? Names just names is Jessica. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Nice to meet you too, Scott. You happen to have any new scuffed epic scuffed B Hop Simulator 2023 around here? As it happens, I remember them installing the 2023 edition a while back. I think it should be right around the corner. Jessica points to an arcade machine. What other games have you got here, Jessica? We have Pogman, Miss Pogman, Meta Man, Dude, Knee Deep in the Cringe, and about ten others. Wow, that's a lot. I imagine this place is pretty busy. Yeah, and we have these people that come occasionally saying they are part of the society. Whatever that fucking means. Then they go speak to Michael the janitor. Wonder what their deal is. Yeah, that's weird. And who's this Michael anyways? He's the short one over at that door. Alright. Decide what to do. Talk to Jessica. Go play. Investigate the janitor, I guess. You walk towards the janitor who's standing by a door. Let me just uh, save real quick. I don't want, you know. Uh. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's you. Hi, I'm Scott. Do I even have time for this? Uh, whatever, I'm Michael, the janitor of this arcade. And this is my dog, Alex. Woof! Cool, I have a question. What's behind that door? Woof! Nothing you, nothing you would want to know about, Scott. Let me in. No, you cannot come in. Uh, just uh, open the door. You push the janitor out of the way and open the door. Wait, no! Door swings open and you hear a loud burst of music and chatter several beans cramming the room. Crowded round a center table where two beans appear to be playing table hockey and shouting, I don't know where one scores. Poggers! 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 No! Cringe! What's this? It's the society, a group of the best beans to ever grace the arcade. You play table hockey? Ah, uh, 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 not just table hockey, other games too. Like? B Hop Simulator, Dude, Knee Deep in the Cringe, and Bean B Hop Forever. Bean B Hop Forever? Yeah, only one person plays it as the game isn't very good. Who's that? Oh god! I was not expecting that. That would be me. Who are you? I am Bean Nug, but people call me Idiot Bean. Why? I don't know, they have never told me. The janitor leans in whispering something. He likes Bean Be Hop Forever. Uh, he likes Bean Bean Hop Forever. What did you expect? Oh, bruh. Anyways, everybody has nicknames here. Really? You quickly scan the room looking for a bean. Who is that then? That's 8-Ball, he is the best here at Digital Pool, even outranking the Super Mega Ultra Very Poggers AI. That's, that sounds like pretty epic AI, if you ask me. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, I think that you should leave. I have one more question. What? What's that? You point across the room to a small tin box with a flashing red light and one next to it with a flashing blue light. I have always wanted to be a janitor, it's the peak of my life goals. I am happy being a janitor, I started the society as a way of upping perfection. Being a janitor is the perfect job and I have made it better. What? Is it like janitor simulator or something? One thing my great great grandfather made was a small invention called the internet. Oh that's what it is. The box with the red flashing light is just that. It's the internet. That and only that is the key to the internet itself. Pog Pog, what's the blue one? You you is dragged out the room by Michael. Hey, what was that for? Shut up, don't question things that don't affect you. Okay, okay. Uh ask Michael to go out with you. 
Duh! Why wouldn't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to save right here. Just, just in case. So, I will ask him out. Hey, Michael, your eyes look great. Cheers! Wanna go on a date? No! Damn, bro. Rejected. I got an achievement! You go back where you were sent by the rejection. Decide what to do. I wonder what happened. Okay, load. I wonder what would happen if I don't ask him. Alright, I'm just gonna go now. See ya. Okay. Okay. You go back where you were. Oh, okay. Save. I usually use one save slot because I know I don't need more than that. Uh, talk to Jessica. What other games have you got here, Jessica? We have, we have Pogman, Miss Pogman, Meta Man, Do Knee Deep in the Cringe, and about 10 others. Why the, oh, wait, I already read this. I'm actually an employee here, but not on the weekdays during school hours. It pretty much means I can just play arcade games for free. That sounds like a great job. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it also means that most of the high scores here belong to me. Good luck beating them, though. I'll try my best. Scott and Jessica smile at each other and laugh. Well, if I want to have a chance of beating a high school, a score on a new Scott Epic Beehop Simulator 2023. 2023. I'll need to get going. Okay, have fun, Scott. Jessica walks away. You you wander around the arcade looking for the n new stuffed, stuffed epic, epic B hop, hop simulator 2023 arcade machine. You spot something that caught your eye. It was a mysterious arcade machine with nothing labeled on it. Oh, sick! What's this game? Wait, no! Don't touch that! What the fuck? Where am I? Wait a second. This is cyber. Cyberpunk 2077 you start be hopping around the map to find the finish line am I wrong? Maybe I am I don't know. But don't only get hit by a flying car you get knocked out a few minutes later <laughs> You get awakened by a face you have never seen before yep Yep, it is cyberpunk 2077 The face says wake up the pee pee poo poo up bean no, wake the pee pee poo poo up, Bean. We have a lair. A lair? To be hot. Scott comes to his senses and saw a beautiful man wearing a black outfit. It's like he's been in movies but never actually in any. Scott thanks Bean by walking in a small circle. The mystery Bean puts his hand on your face and whispers something very cool in your ear. Whoa. The Bean slowly fades away, singing pee pee poo poo. Whoa, that was inspiring. Poggers, you beat the level. Scott sees a flash of red. Poggers, you beat the level. Pog you. Hmm, I forgot this was an older version. That Jessica mentioned the 2027 version. That must have been what I was playing all that time. It was... Who was that? Where are you? Help! It was coming from the multiplayer button. It's me, Scott. It's me, Scott. Oh, phew, I thought I was crazy. Oh, you are. I'm not actually here. Well, I get that. You're probably at the gamer hospital somewhere. Wait, not like that. I'm not here. I'm at an arcade. No, no, no. I'm in your mind. I'm in your conscience, I guess. Why am I thinking of you then? You mean nothing to me. And as a bean, you're quite insignificant. Oh, wow, that's mean. I've just come to tell you. That the T on the map, T Fortress, isn't even a liquid because I know that it's a solid and looking it tastes terrible. Kind of like a... No! On the map speed, you must meet Obama. He will tell you what to do. Obama? Wasn't he that human? The one the humans looked up to because he was really funny? The Obamoid will tell you what to do. Do I need to play the game just to find out what to do? What the hell? Yeah, but... Your eyesight goes black for a second, and then you awaken. Hey, you there. You really shouldn't have touched that machine. It's broken, and the arcade is about to close. Come back tomorrow if you want. Wow, that felt really weird. What did you do, and what was that? I pulled you out of the game, that's all. Our, our arcade machines here have 
BIUs installed in them. What the fuck is a BIU? A blue insignificant underling. Yeah, that works. Is it the reason how I got teleported into the scuffed B-Hop uh, thingy? Yeah, BIU is a brain interface unit. Imagine virtual reality, but full control. Oh, bruh. Anyways, hi, I'm Scott. Hey, hey, I'm Emma. Ugh. The manager of this arcade. Pug, also, I wanted to ask you if you had any job vacancies here, since I'm kind of out of a job because I kind of got teleported here uh, yesterday. You know what? We could really use someone like you to help us out play testing the arcade machines, and when you're done doing them, you can help Jessica with her work. I will start your training tomorrow if that suits. Alright, I will be here tomorrow. I look forward to being here. You exit the arcade and walk to your apartment. Damn, that was a pretty crazy day, I might say. Your stomach girls. Damn, I'm pretty hungry after all of that. Hmm, what do I eat? You think about what is in your fridge and remember you don't have anything in your fridge since you moved in last night. Oh shit, I have to hit up Bean Mart, but I have no money to buy anything. Fuck, I have to think of an idea quickly. What do you do? Okay, save here so I can s see everything that ha it has to offer. Shop left. Okay, so I'm going to have to get in and just take something little that I can fit in my pocket and leave. You enter the store. Oh, it looks like these are my only options. Baked beans. Oh, no. Okay, uh, save. That one's an empty slot. Baked beans. Baked beans. You shove the baked beans can into your pocket. You try and go through the checkout without anyone noticing. Hey man, what's that in your pocket? Um, uh, fuck! Without hesitation, you try to be hop away. You trip over. Ah! You get caught by the security cop. Wow. What do you shoplift? Scuffed be hop cereal. You grab the scuffed B-Hop flavored cereal. Why the fuck was this an option? The box is so big, there's no way I can escape without anyone noticing. You approach the checkout. Hey, just this one, please. I have to grab it and run while I can. No fucking way. Your scuffed bean, can I eat? please get your signature? Ah, oh, fine, but you'll let me take the cereal free. Okay, bet. No way that actually... I can't believe that actually worked. You s sign the cashier's ass cheeks and walk away. Holy shit, hold on, load. Ah. I just want to see what else there is. Pre-cooked pizza. Uh, there are so many flavors, I don't even know which one to choose. Anyway, the box is so big, there's no way I can escape with it. Uh, maybe I should choose something else. Okay. Okay, that was kind of weird, though. Send the cashier's ass cheeks. Hold on. Load. I need to load over here. Starve. You decided to live with the fact that you were going to die. Scott died 5th of being you, Harry, 2023. And I've died. Oh, shit. Okay, back in here. Okay, that was close, but now I literally have a whole box of cereal somehow. You walk back to your apartment. You open the door and go into the kitchen. You check the fridge. Fuck yeah, there's milk. Okay, time to eat. You open <coughs> You open the box of B-Hop cereal and pour it in the bowl. You then pour the milk into the bowl full of cereal. Oh, thank God. I was going to say, I don't eat cereal or have it with milk at all anyways. But you need a lot of cereal before you do milk, so. Then you take a bite. Spits out cereal. Why the fuck is my own cereal so shit? What has scuffed development invested in? You chomp down the cereal anyway. After eating the cereal, you go and lie down on the couch and go to sleep. One night later. Day three. Okay, I think I'll save here. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll save it right there because I don't need it. So, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more of what you want me to do next. Subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be in your favor.